and it's inflated inflated uh or sorry inflation adjustment value it's 102 million dollars that was sold in, in 1987 that's nuts that is insane that's a ridiculous amount of money that just doesn't make sense for a picture right but yeah i'm just trying to see if i could find where if that one has ever actually sold like since because everybody just talks about everything I can find is, oh, it's sold for 400 francs, which is about $2,000 today. Um, but, yeah, no, not weird. Yeah, a lot of people, like, they just take them off the market and they don't sell them anymore. So, yeah, and then you can't find inter- information about them and stuff. So. Who knows? Uh, weird. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to move away from that one now. Like, you yeah. can. You yeah. don't have to, you don't have to, like, like advertise that you own it and and what it's worth and stuff. You can just buy a painting and then fuck off with it. And then this is my painting. Yeah, it's true. But then <laughs> like, eventually that person has to die, and it gets resold or moved somewhere else. Like I just uh, that's what I don't. I guess that's what I don't understand. Like, or you just will it to somebody and say you can only have this if you don't tell anybody what it's worth. Oh, that's genius. That's actually really genius. You be I got this thing. I'm homeless, but I still have this painting, but I'm not allowed to sell it. <laughs> I'm doing that. If my stuff's fault. worth anything, I'm doing that to somebody. <laughs> um, do you know what the most expensive or the highest or the the the, the most expensive painting ever sold? Uh, was that Kandinsky? No, it was not. Yeah, it was a Jackson Pollock. Oh, of course, that fucking hack. Yeah, it's uh, number five, 1948. It sold for $140 million in 2006. Have you ever seen a Jackson Pollock? I could fucking sneeze on a canvas and make one of those. Yeah. It's just you take a paintbrush with a lot of extra paint on it and just drizzle it all over a sheet. Biggest con artist ever. I don't know. He's lucky, I guess. Nah. Well, I don't. I don't get. I don't get why he got to be a thing. But then all of, like if you take every of the most famous guy. I don't get Elvis. I don't see why he was a thing. Fucking um, uh, Jack Kerouac was a shit writer. I don't know why anyone reads his stuff. Um, you know, do you take any art like? And I don't get the biggest ones. They just make no, no sense to me. No. So I, I'm a bad judge. Makes no sense. I don't and get it. Here you go, just because we're a fan of Geffen. Um, the second most expensive is, a, is by artist Willem de, Kuhn, de Kooning. Hmm. It's called Women 3. It sold for $137.5 million in 2006. And it was sold. Or, sorry, it was the... the it was sold by David Geffen. Good stuff. So David Gavin made $137 million for selling a painting. Yeah, I'd probably get high and paint over it or something. <laughs> you know how he got it? He traded. Um, it was owned by the Terran Museum since the late 1970s. The painting was forbidden to be displayed after the 1979 revolution. It was traded to Geffen in 1994 for a 16th century Persian manuscript. Awesome. I think they got. I think they got fucked on that deal. <laughs> Just saying. Well, that manuscript could have been like the where the weapons of mass destruction really are, or something. <laughs> you know, it's actually a hidden map on the back. <laughs> Maybe that's going to be the next fucking uh, Nick Cage movie. Is him and George Bush? Nas- national treasure. Nick Cage WMD. and George Bush. <laughs> Star, teaming up, weapons. teaming up for the ultimate. <laughs> Found on page thirteen of a sixteenth-century Persian manuscript. <laughs> this is a map saying if you tear open a Jackson Pollock number five painting, <laughs> you'll find it. Jackson Pollock's a fucking weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> That's just fucking funny. 
Jackson. Uh, Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. Um, I bet you you have this covered the base ten times the over. 40s. They say that the average person walks the equivalent of five times around the world in their lifetime. Oh, jeez. I lapped I think, a few times. I think you covered that in, like, two years. I think I did. <laughs> like, easily. <laughs> I never had the step counter set on my phone. I should have. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, you imagine. Holy shit. That'd be crazy. I walked for a lot of miles. Yeah. I mean, just our podcasting alone, how much you've walked. Oh, yeah. It's nuts. I still do that occasionally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just did one back in the wintertime. I walked the length of Kelowna while we <laughs> talked. Yep, that's right. It's a good time. Um, so last one. I'm tired. I got to go to bed. Yeah, me too. Um, no, I'm, no. The last one here is, did you know that Michael Jackson offered to make a Harry Potter musical? No, but that's dope. J.K. Rowling said no. Huh. She said she turned down a lot of ab- um, adaptation opportunities, and Michael Jackson's just so happened to be one of them. She's a weirdo. Yep. Uh, there you go. That, that's cool. I don't know. Whatever. There you go. That would have been interesting to see. I bet you it probably would have been good. Oh, yeah, it would have been good. Would have been The dark dancing would have been phenomenal. Yeah. Would have been all dark and weird. Mm-hmm. And Vincent Price is Harry. <laughs> Hermione. M- Macaulay Culkin is Dumbledore. <laughs> that seems backwards, Michael. You shut up. <laughs> shut up. Stop it. I'll be bad if you don't. <laughs> Michael, we can't do this production. You're all out of money. Well, go buy more money. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's all you do. Just buy more money. You are <laughs> disconnected from reality, sir. Oh, by the way. Shut up. <laughs> stop <laughs> it. Jermaine, make him stop. <laughs> Tito, kick his ass. <laughs> Nobody talks to Tito. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, I I actually have this. This is my variation of exciting news for my for my world of life of what I do. Um. I have officially verified my knife sharpening business on Google Maps. Ooh, exciting. I had to wait two weeks for a letter from them, which gives me a code, a yeah. verification code for me to do it. And I, I did it, and now I'm officially on there. I got pictures. I got the logo that you did for me, which is on there. And if I can ever get myself some more fucking real money going, I am going to order myself a bunch of T-shirts. You because I am planning on doing a bunch of shit. You sir better order yourself a business license soon. Well, when I make enough, sure. You can get all kinds of fucked up. Yeah, you gotta make thirty grand before they bug you about it. And I'm nowhere close to that. <laughs> not even them. Not even remotely close. Even then you don't have to get a business license. You just have to get a GST number. And they'll yeah. have to start charging GST on your sharpenings. But that's, that's very cool. Congratulations. Yeah. I don't want to, and that's the thing. I don't want to start charging GST. Fuck you. You don't deserve to get my fucking money. You don't charge it, but you pay it whether you charge it or not. So, yeah. So uh, on on every sharpening you do, you have to pay that GST to the government. uh, You don't, if you don't want to charge your customer, you just don't get that back. But you still have to give it every time you sharpen a knife. You got to pay the government for the, for the right to sharpen other people's knives. That's how just, taxes work. Dumb. You want to sharpen people's knives, you will pay for that right. <laughs> oh, it only costs 26 bucks to do that in, in Ontario. Oh, yeah, it's not expensive. It's a pain in the ass at tax time, though. You got to figure it all out and stuff. Now nah, you just hire an accountant. It's not a pain at all. Yeah. Well, fuck that. Um. Anyway, good for you. That's great. Oh, you That's cool. So everybody check out Google Maps. Check out... Uh, gourdshop.com. Yep. Um, pretty soon you can check out ericgord.ca. It should be up pretty quick. Um, I'm just wrestling with the, the with the transferring the domain from the company I bought it to, to the company I want it to go to. It's a fucking huge nightmare right now. But anyway, check out Gord on uh, Google Maps. I'm Google mapping that shit right now. 
I, I do it like seven times a day right now. <laughs> just constantly going up a go map. What's in there, Gord's Little Shop? I just type in sharpening. It'll come up. It'll be the first thing that'll come up in Milton. Like type in like go to like go to Milton, Ontario. So you're in Milton, and then just type in sh- uh, sharpening. Uh, everybody, do this along with me, so it's not as boring on the podcast. Yeah. You all have to do it right now. Get your phones. I'll wait. Yep. Yes, I got pictures. I got my logo. Got logo my designed hours. by me. If anyone else wants a logo, you can get in touch with me, and I will design you one just like Gord's. Yep. Uh, okay, you're not going to like this, but on mine, House of Knives comes up first. Well, that's because you're checking BC. you got to look in Ontario. I am looking in Ontario, and House of Knives first came up first. That doesn't make sense. There's no House of Knives in Ontario. Well, fucking don't yell at me. Yell at Google. <laughs> that's it. I'm going to yell you're at Google. You're fourth on mine. No, yeah, that's okay. I'll still take fourth. That's top five. I'll take it. <laughs> book now i don't see your logo either weird really where's my logo oh is this just your website no this isn't no oh this is your business it's... page thing it's not google maps yeah oh it's just your google business page but it should say gorzo shop sharpening with a little logo off to the right yeah that's what i see not my logo oh it's just a picture of knives it's a picture from your website no, oh, that's weird. I'm not sure what to tell you. Totally different. Totally different. Oh, lovely. Just just what I want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, well. That's not Google Maps, though. That That's just your uh, Google... I just that's, oh, that's just straight Google search. I haven't done that yet. So I don't have Google Maps. Okay, I'm, but you can just go to Google Maps without an app, right? Let's do that. I will probably not put this part on the podcast. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> until next time, take care of each other. Um, I don't know. Um, fuck it, whatever. Okay, I'm in, <laughs> I'm, I'm in uh, no. Milton O N. Sharpening, sharpening near Milton, near the airport. Are you near the airport? Somewhat. Let's try that one then. Your second, your number two, pretty sharp. A is number one. It's a skate sharpening service. Yes. Yeah, they seem to come up quite a bit. Your number two. And there's still no fucking... Oh, yeah, there's the logo. Oh, fuck, that's a nice eh. logo. <laughs> it's awesome, oh, but I just saw it. <laughs> and then I, I, I clicked wrong, and it went to your website. That's neat. Oh, you click on your logo. Oh, neat. Hmm. Neat. You click on the logo, and it goes to an overview of your services. It's kind of cool. Let me go back. No ratings or reviews. That's not good. No. Well, I mean, like, literally, I just fucking got this thing officially set up a couple days ago, so. Maybe it's because you don't open till 10. (laughs) I'm not getting up earlier than that. Nobody wants to drop. I've only had one person that's actually offered to drop their knives off before, like, noon. I can't expand your logo. Holy fuck, I got a skate sharpening place. You don't see those in here, but there's, like, five around you. Oh, yeah. No, there's tons. No, they don't. Tons. They just don't exist here because we don't have ice. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Well, it's all like indoor ice. Like, there's no outdoor ice skating in BC. That never fucking happens. Maybe up north. Yeah, definitely further up north. But no, they're fucking all over the place here. People yeah, have. Just... There's tons of people in Milton that have ice rinks specifically. They build them oh, every yeah, year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Manitoba, too. When I was a little kid, fuck, you, yeah. there's one on every corner. Like, yeah. Like public ones. Every community center had an ice rink. No, like I'm in that type of. Oh yeah, backyard. I know you're talking backyard yeah, ones. Yeah. Like lots of people yeah. had those too. But yeah, personal edge, Alan Carson skate sharpening, played against sports, edge skate sharpening, skate sharpening, and pro shop sharpening, sharpening, <laughs> pretty sharp, 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 sharp. Where the fuck are you? I'm looking at Hamilton. Where did I get the Hamilton? Oh, I'm the only.